If you want to know how to render a line in Unity, watch this video till the end to find out how. I have empty scene open. Let's add new object. Create empty line renderer. Let's add component. So new component, line renderer component. And we essentially created our line. There are a few different options here. Go to the positions. And as you see, we have two positions. If I move my X position on the second point, the line is drawn. Currently, the line is pink because there is no material assigned to it. You can change the width of the line by using this line and move it up or down. If you want to change the width of on one end, you can add another point, double click on this line. You will add the point and then move the point down or up. To delete the point, just select the point, hit delete on the, your keyboard. To change the color, first of all, we need to change the material for our line. So go to the materials and select the default material. Once the default material is selected, you can change the color. I have white color, you can change it here. If you want to draw sprite on your line, we can do that very easily. We need to create new material. I have my sprite created here. So this is the sprite I will use to uh, render along the line. So let's right click, create material. Uh, line renderer mat and I will change the shader I will use for this one mobile particles and then additive let's drag our texture into the texture box and that's it we need to uh, go to the line renderer now go to the materials and then replace our default materials with that uh, LR material we just created so as you see the the, the sprite is drawn, but uh, there is just one sprite. We need to do two things to fix that, to have multiple spline drawing along the line. First of all, go to your texture, which you use in your material, and make sure the wrap mode is select to repeat. And then hit apply. There is no direct effect yet, because you need to go to the line renderer, and under the texture mode, you need to change from stretch to tile. Once you do that, you have multiple uh, sprites drawing along the line. Just to prove a point, if you increase the line, move any of the point, you can see that there is more sprite appears. Now let's add functionality where you actually can drag and uh, your mouse uh, on the screen and draw the line. Let's hit, uh, let's create new script. So right click create scripting mono behavior script and uh, line drawer i will call it line drawer let's open that script okay so first of all right at the top i will add a few variables so first one will be private float and this will be point cache distance and this will be equal to 0 0.5f so this is the diff distance between the points we want to cache and then private vector three and this will be the previous mouse position so we need to cache that and then we need to cache our line renderer so private line renderer and then private bool uh, is first mouse position Okay, and then in the start method, we need to cache our line renderer. So let's get that will be equal to get component line renderer. And then in the update method, I will um, check for the mouse press. So if input dot get mouse, get mouse button zero. Uh, if we uh, press the mouse button, we want to ca uh, cache the uh, mouse position. It will be equal to camera.main.screen toward point input dot mouse position. And then we wa uh, I want to uh, set the Z value for the mouse position to be equal minus one. So everything is on the same plane. And now uh, I will just create function uh, mouse line draw. 
and I will pause the mouse position. And now let's implement this function. Uh, is first uh, mouse position or vector three dot distance. Uh, so we're going to check the distance between the mouse position and then the previous mouse position. And if this distance is uh, greater than uh, the uh, point card distance, we want to add that point. So add new point and then mouse position. We're going to add that function in a bit. Uh, so now we want to reset our uh, variables. So previous mouse position would be equal to mouse position and then is first mouse position will be equal to false. Okay, and then let's add this function, add new mouse, uh, add new position. Uh, and then uh, this function basically is gonna uh, get our line renderer dot uh, point position count plus equal one. So we wanna increase the, the number of the points and then line renderer dot set position. And we wanna get the line renderer dot position count minus one. We want to add to the last uh, last element of that array and then we want to add our mouse position. So that uh, that function will add the point. We want to have also the function to clear the points. This will be very simple. Just the line renderer dot position count will be equal to zero. Uh, let's save everything and let's go back to Unity. If we select our line renderer, make sure our script is added. So drag our line drawer script and put onto that object. And now when I press play, I can actually drag. Let's set this point to zero. I can actually drag and hold and draw my sprite along the mouse position. OK, so now let's add function to basically be able to click on the position on the screen, click on another position and draw the line between those two positions. We need to modify the script uh, just a tiny bit. So let's open the script again. Let's add a uh, few more variables. So first one will be serialized field. And this will be the private bool draw line. So if this will be true, we're going to draw, draw the line by uh, dragging the mouse on the screen. If, it's, if it will be false, we're going to capture the mouse click. Um, and then uh, we want to add two more variables. So first one will be private vector three. And that's going to be mouse select point position. And then another one will be private bool can select next mouse point will be equal to true. Okay, and also make sure uh, our is first mouse position set to true right at the beginning. Now we in the update method, we want to wrap our mouse line draw under the app statement. So if draw line, then we want to call that function. Uh, otherwise, if can select next mouse point, we want to uh, add new position, mouse position, and we want to do the uh, can select next mouse point will be equal to false. So you want to prevent of a uh, player keep uh, clicking and keep holding the mouse and adding the points to the to the line. And now if we release our mouse button, so else here. We want to set the can select next mouse point equal to true. Okay, and then I want to add function a small bit to just clear the line. So if input dot get mouse button one. So if we click the right button, we want to clear positions. And I think that is it. Uh, let's save everything now and let's go back to Unity. If I hit play. We can right click to clear the uh, the current uh, line. And if I go to the script, 
uh, the draw line is unchecked, so I can click on the one point on another point and then drawing the line between, clear down. That's fine. I can even do two or three points. And now if I check this box, I can click and drag to draw the line. So whichever function is better for you. So this is how you can draw the line in the in the Unity. And now I will show you the practical use of this. So this is my game, uh, currently the word searching game, which I'm working on. And now uh, I'm using the line renderer to select the letters on the grid. So if I hit on the letter, I can drag and drop uh, Andrew's mouse and drawing the, the line using the line renderer. And I can actually select another word and uh, another one if I like. So this is how I'm using the line drawings. Do let me know in the comments if this video was useful and how you uh, intend to use this functionality in your game. If you didn't subscribe yet, please consider to do so to support this channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video.